The phrase, what is grief if not love persevering, captures the profound emotional ethos that so many of us grapple with when we lose someone we deeply care about. It eloquently weaves together the anguish of loss and the beauty of love, as if to provide a solace by redefining the very concept of grieving. What we need to understand is that grief, in its rawest form, is essentially love that's been left without its traditional home. It's all that affection, care, and intimacy, which used to have a direct object, a person to manifest towards, and then suddenly, that person isn't there to receive it anymore. So this love, it lingers, it meanders, and it desperately seeks some kind of expression or release. When you distill this concept down to its purest essence, you find that grieving is not just about experiencing the pangs of loss. It's not simply a void left by someone's absence. Instead, it's the continuation of love that has lost its primary recipient. It's resilient. It's enduring. It's love that refuses to vanish even when the loved one has. Take it from a guy in Portland who's seen his fair share of goodbyes and new hellos. The towering pines around us too shed their needles yet stand firm season after season. There's a sort of parallel here. Just as the trees persevere through the winters, so does our love through the grief. This love shapes us, molds our memories, and in many ways keeps the essence of those we've lost alive within us. Interestingly enough, grief doesn't always have to show up as sorrow or pain. Sometimes it's the little things. It's the memory that tugs at your smile when you pass by their favorite coffee shop, or the way your laughter echoes a note that used to be theirs. It's a sign that the relationship, the connection, continues, not through physical presence, but through the indelible mark left on a life. In a city known for its rain, Portland teaches you that even amidst the gray skies and drizzle, life continues to blossom. Likewise, as we navigate through grief, if we pay close enough attention, we'll notice the sprouts of the perennial love that was shared. This phrase, as poignant as it is, reminds us that in the midst of our grieving, the love we feel stands as a testimony to the depth of our bonds. Grief, therefore, isn't the antithesis of love, but rather a testament to its strength. It's not an emotion to be shunned or feared. It's a sign that the love we held was genuine and powerful. It's love in one of its most durable forms, persisting against the relentless tides of time and change.